Shalom. The age of the European Baroque impacted the cultural identity of many nations. In Eastern Europe, particularly in the Slavic lands of the 16th, 18th centuries, it performed the functions of the Renaissance. The Baroque first integrated as a single whole the culture of Western and Eastern Slavs, Catholics and Orthodox Christians, yielding its own distinct national versions of cultural development. The Eastern European Jewish community took shape in the same unitary context with these processes. According to Shimon Dubnov, the 1500s provide a fundam fundamental age in the history of Polish Lutheran Jewry, the period which laid the foundations of the Eastern European Jewish uh, patriarchal way of life. The 1670s uh, 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 saw the emergence of the shtetl as a cultural phenomenon, the definition crystallization of the Jewish type of settlement and the flowering of the symbolic and plastic language of uh, uh, Jewish traditional art in the various forms, uh, which this assumed in providing for the daily round. Uh, daily round. The rabbinic tradition, the institutionalization of religious and community life, the social level and occupations of the Jews in leasing, trade and the crafts determine, determined the spiritual and social contours of Eastern European Jewry. All this shaped the mindset, the ethos, and the worldview of traditional Jewry, which remained uh, largely unchanged up until the outbreak of the Holocaust. The modern distance, distances way of seeing the world of the shtetl as a cradle of Eastern European Jewry challenges us to find a definition which would pinpoint the cultural aesthetic outlines of this world's a distinctive identity. Can the concept of the Jewish Baroque be appropriated uh, in this connection? Such a notion has been the subject of discussion in works uh, by Vishnitzer, Kampf, Joseph and Yehudit Shadur and others, working on a definition of the Jewish artistic tradition. But what is there that is Jewish in this Jewish Baroque? Form, content, symbolic interpretation or a worldview? Uh, would it suffice uh, to limit the question to the wealth of symbolism and the ornate carving style of the Matsevas and Aron Kodeshes, along with synagogue wall paintings? Perhaps the scope of the question uh, should be extended, following Max Dvorak, to encompass the spiritual history of Eastern European Jewry and the visual manifestations of its distinctive identity. Addressing the question of the Baroque affiliation of Eastern European Jewish culture implies first striking out uh, the conceptual boundaries of the concept of the Baroque itself. The diversity of the ways of understanding this, uh, the uh, essence, manifestations, impact and significance of the Baroque is indicated by the scholarly discussion uh, which uh, spans some one and a half centuries and is to be found uh, in the works of Gurlit, Wörfin and Dvorak up through Benjamin, Dors, Delos and representatives of different national schools of thought of the academic band. Most researchers saw the historical, cultural and uh, formal stylistic context of the Baroque as an antipode and a pathetic an antithesis of the rational. Uh, they also emphasized the multi-level simultaneity of its manifestations. Baroque, uh, in its uh, loftier forms, uh, served to embody the declared principles of the Catholic Counter-Reformation and the tests of uh, the aristocrats. On the grassroots uh, level, it fused uh, with the ideas of national movement and folk culture. These forms uh, of the grassroots Baroque became, according to Yuri Lodman, a manifestation of the culture of the masses, bringing together, quote, the folklorization of original ideas with the uh, nationalization of artistic principles imported from the without, end of quote. This in, uh, this in uh, turn yielded a unique intertwining of Baroque style with folk culture, providing the foundation for its entrenchment for ages to come. While initially the age rich in contradiction uh, had been dubbed uh, the Baroque in an attempt to embrace all phenomena associated with the history of the spirit of the time, uh, some century later, the formulaic uh, label, uh, which had originally been coined itself, into, uh, turned into a research tool for the study of the cultures of different ages. 
As time went on, particularly in the 1900s and in the postmodern period, the notion of the Baroque emerged in a different guise, balancing between mutually opposite values and meanings, abstractions and speculations. On the one hand, it was linked uh, with the uh, notion of moviton, referring to aff uh, affectation, tastelessness and artificiality. On the other hand, everything Baroque uh, was praised to the skies, elaborated upon and used to explain humanity's attraction to uh, unattainable ideas, uh, ideals, uh, and uh, playing with the transcendent, the ethical nature of a people, and even types of individual personality. Today, Baroque uh, as a term is treated uh, as an uh, uh, all-encompassing concept in the comparative study of cultures. The fu fundamental principle of the Baroque, defined by Cornelius Gurlitt in the late 1800s uh, and developed extensively by our contemporaries, was grounded in the idea of longing for a completing wholeness. Today, this idea forms the foundation of the definition of the Baroque as a supra-historical type of culture launched at critical turning points in history and embodying hopes and dreams. In Jewish culture, this lo uh, uh, longing finds uh, its uh, expression in the passionate anticipation of messianic deliverance and the return to Eretz Israel. In this connection, the very notion of the Baroque became an effective tool for use in retrospective thinking of Eastern European Jewish culture and uh, identifying the unity of all aspects of its life uh, of the late uh, 1600s. The vivid and multifaced uh, forms of organization of the Jewish life of their times did not let it dissolve in the general surrounding ambience. On the contrary, this permitted the preservation and expression of the uniquely Jewish self and the creation of a distinctive culture style, ranging from internal self-construction uh, to the emergence uh, of outer forms of presentation. This distinctive self and bond uh, to the Baroque milieu I attested uh, to not only by the Jewish materials, but also by the comparative experience of the various national varieties of the Baroque uh, throughout the lands inhabited by Eastern European Jews, especially the experience of Ukrainian culture and the modern proponents of the notion of the Ukrainian Baroque. The ancientness of their history and the status accorded to Jews and Ukrainians living under Polish jurisdiction integrated uh, the social cultural context of their life into a single whole. The Baroque period coincided uh, with the age of destruction of the mid 1600s, a time of disaster experienced by both Jews and Ukrainians from the opposite sides of the barricades. The spiritual crisis led to the rise of mysticism and religiosity, a craving for a different reality and freedom, which acquired a metaphysical and pathetic dimension. According to the Ukrainian architect Dmitro Dyachenko, the Baroque became the vehicle of expression uh, for, quote, uh, the Ukrainian natural element and national character, end of quote. Here at the intersection of East and West, a unique Baroque worldview took shape based on the ideas of spiritual reason. The flowering of ecclesiastical and secular art uh, in Ukraine during the 16-1700s shaped a special thesaurus with a set of uh, ability appellations, uh, archetypes, and mythologems uh, of its own. The, phenomen the phenomenon of Kazakh Dom and um, uh, its spiritual culture, uh, cultural image conveyed in the uh, folk paintings uh, of Kozak Mamai, uh, the portraits of the Kazakh elder and uh, in stone and wooden churches, uh, dubbed uh, this style the Kozak or the Ukrainian Baroque. The first thought of the 20th century, a period of an enthusiastic national high and entrenchment of Ukrainian statehood, emblazoned uh, these images on the banner of national culture. Ukrainian modern architecture revived old Baroque forms, uh, while the plastic arts uh, reflected the epic and the heroic traditions. Images borrowed uh, from the past were just juxtaposed uh, with the new proletarian heroes. The theme uh, remained alive uh, throughout the Soviet period. After the 1990s, with the coming of Ukrainian independence, 
The Ukrainian Baroque, having by now taken a new tone, became the expression of the national spirit and unique identity and the embodiment of a dream. 2012 uh, saw the uh, opening of a loudly proclaimed exhibit uh, devoted to the myth of the Ukrainian Baroque at the National Art Museum of Ukraine. This virtually spanned uh, all of the Ukraine of the history of Ukrainian art, beginning with the folk forms and iconostasis of the 1600s and including socialist realism and the trans avant-garde and besting uh, the whole with a single baroque thread. Traditional Jewish art also fit into the framework of the Ukrainian Baroque. Galina Sklerenka and Oksana Barshinova, the curators of the exhibition project, performed a deconstruction of the concept of national history, showing how the Baroque came to define the historical cultural richness of the people, its scope, greatness, tragic element and irony. Garnished by passages from the great thinkers and ideologies of the Ukrainian Baroque, the exhibition became a grandiose instantiation of the longing of the spirit of the Ukrainian people torn between opposites. The spirit has it ever endlessly existential in motion and for which the place of the real is taken by the ideal. Jewish culture is marked uh, by the same, uh, same kind of tossing about in an attempt to reconcile the split between reality and messianic strivings. Here's a double language of the Baroque, combining elements of the real with illusion, was able to provide artistic expression for the cosmos of uh, shtetl Jewry in its religious and cultural daily dimensions, bringing together the uh, wealth and of form, decorativeness, symbolism and illusion with folk culture being enhanced in the bosom of nature and the powerful impact of mysticism. Thus, the architecture of wooden synagogues with their false inner domes, which first made their appearance by the middle of the 18th century, is an illuminating instantiation of the idea of the longing for wholeness, with uh, its <coughs> embodiment of the principle of illusion, il illusoriness and transformation of inner space. <coughs> Octagonal domed bimas reiterate this model, uh, which serves as an allusion to the Jerusalem temple. Uh, the general idea of a total universe is completed by carpet wall paintings, uh, combining a symbolic worldview with the Baroque tradition of illusory decorations or trompe l'oeil. In late decoration, this principle reaches an especially pathetic pitch, becoming self-sufficient uh, uh, and absolute. Alexander Anix stresses that not the form of religious, but the general mindset was the maker of the Baroque age. Thus we find similar uh, features uh, shared by Jewish art with uh, its Ukrainian name board. This includes the uh, picturesque of architectural silhouettes and the broken lines of the ro uh, rooftops and domes, the six-pointed portals of the wooden churches and synagogues, the very principle of carpet decoration, combining picturesque, symbolic and ornamental motifs. It is important to note the typological and stylistic uh, similarity in the carving of the holy doors of the iconostasis and the doors of the Aron Kodeshes. Both cultures embody the motif of the grape wine as a symbol of eternal life and God, the sacrificial uh, image of Jesus in the Christian tradition and the divine blessing in, in the Jewish. The system of the Baroque absolved objects from the surrounding world of their daily associations, turning them into elements of language through which uh, a different, loftier world came to be recreated, the world of meanings. The rich repertoire of Jewish symbolism, the bestiar, for instance, lifted out of the Middle Ages, uh, retained uh, its uh, uh, didacticism and allegorical language. The same was true of the motifs of the crowns and, for, and the four beasts, symbolizing the virtues in Tirkei Avot. Uh, in the form uh, that this uh, assumed and which was familiar to the Baroque, the medieval emblems, <coughs> emblems combined uh, with true-to-life images taken from the surrounding reality. Thus, the horse-drawn cart uh, laden with bags uh, would be headed not for the town fair, but for the Holy Land. The fenced in village uh, grapevine would appear a Garden of Eden. In the Christian Baroque tradition, this connected with the Garden and heavenly, heavenly Paradise. 
Both cultures uh, assigned an important symbolic role to the image of uh, the garden as an enclosed spiritual world of virtue correlated with heaven. Um, the impact of folk art came uh, through in the styles in inter and interpretation of the images and the anthropomorphic elements. Uh, the ornateness and uh, excessiveness of the means uh, of decoration brings out yet another element shared uh, by both branches of the Baroque, the ornamental and the pathetic. The drapery motif develops uh, in Jewish art, one of the foremost elements of the Baroque concept uh, of the Theatro Mundi. This comes to stand for the stage uh, content separating the real from imaginary world in introducing uh, theatrically and pathos. In both wall paintings and carving on uh, Matsevas, a similar fu function is assumed by the motif of the portal taken from uh, title pages of uh, Jewish books. Beginning in the uh, 70, uh, 1700s, synagogue wall paintings begin to feature the allegorical composition of the psalm, uh, one the rivers of Babylon, expressive of mourning the exile. The musical instruments hung uh, on trees are reminiscent of the makeup of a klezmer ensemble, thus underscoring yet another feature of the Baroque. The striving for a synthesis of the arts, literature, painting and music have used into a single whole, expressive of one of the most important themes of Jewish history. Baroque aesthetics embraces modern traditional art. It took in the world of religious philosophical poetics and Hasidism as well. Hasidic ideas provide uh, close to the philosophy of the heart propounded by the Ukrainian thinker Grigory Skavarada. In both cases, we see instances of the symbolic sensory motion of humanity and God to water each other. The very genre of the Agada and Hasidic legends along the lines of the tales of Rabbi Nachman dominated by allegory and rich in images of fairy tale kings are easily inscribed into the structure of the language of Baroque. The phenomenon, of, uh, the phenomenon of tzaddikism is worth invoking here, especially the so-called royal model of presiding uh, over a cult. Luxury in all aspects uh, of the daily round had a double explanation, both as the must of royal type living in order, uh, order to make divine uh, plenitude generally available, and as a screen of might concealing the true suffering of the Hasidic leader. In folk consciousness, the halo of uh, holiness surrounding the tzaddik and his residence found its expression in the popular genealogical engravings with portraits of the Hasidic leaders, as well as uh, the suggestive juxtaposing of Jerusalem with the Hasidic residential palace uh, in synagogue wall paintings. Today, these moments can be read in the context of Baroque-type culture, seen as a mechanism in the formation of the Eastern European Jewish tradition, which was later to go through some rather uncommon stage of development. Historical time no longer had any meaning here, insofar as everything was determined by the longevity of the cultural tradition itself. All this underscores the fact that the notion of the Jewish Baroque, similar to the case of Ukrainian culture, should be more generally understood, not simply as a formal plastic language, but as a cultural paradigm of Eastern European Jewry. A key uh, to the understanding of this paradigm lies in the very worldview of Galut, on which the spiritual and social life of uh, the Jews was founded, and delimited from the within and from the without. The conservatism and traditionalism of Jewish culture were an outgrowth of this. Jewish culture up uh, until the Holocaust continued to exil uh, ex uh, exude a medieval aura, preserving established uh, medieval molds. Let us shift uh, to the 20th century and our, uh, our own times. As note, the theme of the Ukrainian Baroque remained alive uh, in the heart of, uh, of the nation, always manifested in new ways, sustaining the striving for statehood and independence. It seemed that the Jewish Baroque could also manifest itself in the new Yiddishist culture, especially at a time when Jewish aut aut autonomy projects uh, were being carried out. These were the times when a return to the culture of the shtetl and involvement uh, with the folklore and traditional um, art were part of the emergence of Jewish national culture. 
Suffice it to mention, as a reminder, the Kultur Liga and the transfer of old cultural images into modern life. Yet, even take alone, taken alone, Jewish inner processes of modernization and religious uh, disintegration, which were the uh, undoing of the world structure and ethos of traditional Jewry, would have been enough to prevent this from happening. It was, in particular, the religious worldview that provided the soil for cultivating the Baroque. In addition, the unraving world of Jewish towns, which had performed the same function of keeper of old traditions as the world uh, uh, of the village town had done in Ukrainian culture, was losing this guardian role through which it might have uh, given cultural sustenance to urban Jews absorbed into the proletarian milieu. Centuries uh, through strata of Jewish culture could have weathered the toughest years, including Sovietization, if it had not been for the Holocaust, which destroyed Eastern European Jewry throughout the expanse of its former geographic dispersions. There was nobody able, and there was no reason, to attempt uh, a restoration of Eastern European Jewish culture in post-war Europe. Eastern European immigration overseas had begun the process of active modernization by this time, breaking away from the cultural models of the past, which had helped Jewish communities survive the first decades of immigration. Jewish aliyah to Eretz Israel had been transferred onto a new soil and into other setting, uh, where the topos of the shtetl was by definition incapable of striking root. Thus, unlike the legitimated uh, Ukrainian Baroque, which had grown into the national Ukrainian idea, the Jewish Baroque remained only a marker of cultural identity and patriarchal nature of Eastern European Jewry in the period of its flourishing and subsequent uh, stagnation. Its imaging state uh, petrified in transcendentalist forms, coming to life in the reflections of modern artists and the retrospection of contemporary Jews today, but uh, they remained a part of their own time. All this uh, justifies conventionalizing Jewish Baroque as a term, using it to denote uh, the totality and diversity of the historical, culture, cultural, and spiritual aesthetic heritage of Jewish of Eastern European Jewry in the past. The question, however, remains open to what uh, extent modern reflection of Eastern European Jewish uh, culture, gone from reality today, may be reliable as associated with the Baroque. And uh, what should now be done about Marc Chagall, Rybak, Weber, and the others? For we are no, no longer uh, talking about style, but about the mythopoetics of the beyond. And can we, echoing the example of the myth of the Ukrainian Baroque, construct a similar myth of the Baroque of the Jews? Thank you very much.